How much do you know about dynamic host configuration protocol? Let's find out. Hello friends, my name is Kubomet. Thank you so much for watching or joining me today. Uh, today I'm going to talk about dynamic host configuration protocol and pretty much everything else that you can find under uh, using the ipconfig forward slash command. So let's go ahead and go through it immediately without wasting too much time. So in your search bar, go ahead and uh, type in CMD or you can ask Cortana. I don't know if she might get to, to it, but uh, I'm not holding my breath for that. So type in CMD or just, look, um, or just search for command prompt. I go ahead and enter or open it up. Let me just go ahead and maximize this here. So let's go ahead and pull up our uh, DHCP information. In order to do that, we would just type in IP config, if I can spell that, <laughs> uh, forward slash all, right? So after this, you would just hit enter, right? And we're gonna concentrate here on our physical address or our physically connected uh, network adapter. So that way I can uh, provide you more information. Everything else, you can see here, there's a wireless, but it'd be same difference right now, it's not connected. So I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about, you know, specifically uh, stuff that's related to desktop support without, you know, trying to confuse you guys or any, any way. And I'm gonna try to explain it as simple as possible without without any information losing its meaning, you know? So it's really hard, especially when it comes to network related stuff, but I'll try it, simplify it as much as I can, and you know, um, in case somebody who's, you know, brand new to this type of stuff would be able to understand a little bit easier, because let's be honest, this can be pretty dry stuff, right? Okay, so moving on, uh, right here, a physical address is also known as the MAC address, as you can see here, um, every component Every computer component has a MAC address. In our case, this is our network adapter, and it's unique to each component in the world. So every component in the world will have a unique uh, MAC address, which is the physical hardware address of it, right? Okay, and then moving down here to the IP, IP version four address. So uh, um, our IP address, right? Here in my case, this is a local IP address, which is 192. Uh, 168.0.101 preferred. So what prefer means is that it has options of other addresses, um, you know, assigned by our DHCP uh, system, which is in our case, the router. So dynamic host configuration protocol assigned this computer, this address, which is one, again, 192.168.0.101, you know, but it can assign any random one. That's why it's called dynamic, you know? But, you know, just kind of going back here a little bit, I'm not gonna try to go too fast on this because it can be confusing a little bit. Uh, what DHCP does is, you know, looks at the computers that are connected to the network. And then it sees that this physical address, which is the MAC address of unique MAC address for this computer is connected to the network. And that's how it can tell that this is a different computer connected to the network. And then it assigns this IP address down here, assigns it to the computer as its own way of identifying it on the network. I mean, that's um, fairly simple to understand, I think here. Um, subnet mask, this is a little bit more advanced for networking, so I'm not gonna talk about that. Um, and then moving down here, we have default gateway, right? This is good to know what default gateway is. Default gateway is a path for your or for your computer to to other networks or other parts of the network that it's connected to. So um, you can think of it as like a doorway to, um, let's say in my example, since my uh, the only other network aside from mine is the internet, default gateway is this. So 192.168.0.1, that's basically the doorway that my computer has to open in order to access the internet. So um, it's going to be totally different on like uh, on the business network and it's going to go through different type of um, doorways that are probably managed by proxy servers. Okay. Um, DHCP server. So dynamic host configuration protocol server in, in my case is my router and that's where it's, its location is. So it's the same location as my default gateway, right? Because 
you know just kind of going back a little bit here default gateway you know in my case is you know controlled by my router same thing for the DHCP server right it's the same thing and then um, let's go ahead and move down here to DNS servers same deal it's controlled um, it's controlled by my router and basically what DNS means is the main name system so let's say you um, let's say you ping microsoft.com you know www.microsoft.com or just microsoft.com you do a ping on it and it, it, it you know you get a reply and it gives you an IP address so instead of um, in, instead of remembering trying to remember the IP address for microsoft.com the DNS domain name system provides you with the name of microsoft.com right that's that's the the very simplest way of explaining it so uh, same thing if you were to go out and buy a website name right you let's say I you know let's say I bought and I did um, kobuman.com the uh, DNS server basically um, routes my name to the web hosting um, web hosting uh, for, for my website right and the web hosting is going to have a unique IP address right so I hope that's easy to understand guys so instead of having to remember the location of the server where my website is in, in, in the sense where it's you know number you don't have to remember the number you just have to remember the name so you just type in kobuman.com and you get to my website instead of typing in the you know the IP address of the server right well there you have it guys I'm just gonna I'm gonna wrap this up here guys I hope you really like this video please let me know what you think please leave a comment below don't forget to subscribe and also if you have time please go to facebook.com forward slash couple and like my page I'd really appreciate it thank you so much for watching have a good one bye bye